Hi, I'm Steve Good. Welcome to My Squirrel Saw Workshop. Out in the shop today to uh, work on a little project that uh, if you've been following my blog any at all, you know I've been uh, doing lately, and that is using the polymer clay as an inlay material for scroll saw pieces. Uh, received a lot of email on this subject, uh, people wanting to see the exact process of how I go about using the clay as an inlay. So today we're out in the shop and we're going to finish a completed keychain with the inlay including showing you how to put the clay into the material and uh, how to bake it, what temperatures to use, how I finish sand it, and how I complete the keychain off. So with that, I'm going to get up here a little closer to the scrolls, to the uh, workbench for you and show you how we're going to get started. The product we're going to use for our inlay into our little keychain we're going to make today, uh, the name of the brand of this clay is uh, Fimo. And there's a couple other brands out there, one including Sculpey, and basically what they are is they're a polymer clay that you can bake in the oven and they turn hard. Now after they're hard, you can sand them and actually refire them again by adding more pieces to it, so it's, you can even carve them. So it's pretty, uh, pretty remarkable material, and this is what we're going to use as the inlay. Now I'm going to use a different color in the uh, keychain we're going to build today, but uh, same stuff. You can find this at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Michael's Craft Store, uh, just about any uh, good the rest of the materials we're going to need to complete this project tonight. I've got the pattern that I printed out using the oval keychain pattern printer that's available on my blog. I've got a couple pieces of one quarter inch contrasting woods. In this case I've got some walnut and some maple. I've got the clay that we're going to use as the insert. In uh, this case it's red. And I've got some aluminum foil that we're going to put the keychain on when we bake it in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the prep work with the pattern, get it on the wood, and then I'll meet you over at the scroll saw. I've got the uh, pieces both prepped with the uh, patterns affixed to each one, each one of them with their uh, spray adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and do the backer board first, and of course that's cut out of the walnut. So with that, let's go ahead and start cutting and we'll see what we get. Okay, there's our backer board cut out. Sorry about the noise from the fan, but it's starting to get a little hot out here in the workshop today. There's our backer board, and uh, I'll go ahead and cut out the uh, uh, front piece, and uh, I'll be back in just a second to show you that. The front of our little keychain here ready to uh, cut. Of course, I've got all the entry holes drilled. I'm using a number three scroll reverse blade on this project. Uh, the, the pieces of the letter are a little small, so number three seems to fit pretty well, so that's what we'll use. And uh, I'll go ahead and cut out all these interior cuts and then we'll start on the inlay. The front and the back uh, cut out. I've got my uh, polymer clay ready to do the inlay. Before I do the inlay, I'm going to go ahead and glue the pieces together, do all my finished sanding, and then we'll go back and put the inlay in. So let's glue it up. One. I've got the keychain finished, except for the inlay, and the last thing I always do is drill the hole for the uh, keychain. Uh, so we'll do that after we get the inlay baked and all that stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your polymer clay and pinch off a little piece. And you need to knead this stuff to get it pliable. So get you a pretty good hunk of it and just roll it in your hands until you feel it getting good and soft. That's probably good enough. Now what you want to do when you're filling in, filling in these interior cuts is make sure you get them filled really good and I'll take, with a, I'll take a fairly small piece and roll it out and kind of start over here in a corner and just press it in as you go. Now you want to overfill these holes. You want to get them filled as well as possible and then leave a little bit sticking out above the surface because we're going to come back and we're going to sand this flush. So don't worry about it if you make a little bit of a mess. Go ahead and get plenty in there.
I'll go ahead and finish filling this in, then I'll be right back with you. Here's our keychain all filled in with the inlay. Now I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 265 degrees and we'll bake this for uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Then I'll meet you back out here and uh, we'll sand it and finish it. One. The piece is out of the oven now. It's finished firing. It's cooled off a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to sand off the uh, excess of this clay and see if we can get down to a nice looking inlay. To do that, I'm just going to use a, a radial hand sander here and uh, I'll show you how I do it. You can use your upright sander to do this, but the clay kind of makes a mess out of the sandpaper. Uh, so if you've got a little uh, oscillating sander here, it's a little easier to do. that it didn't take a whole lot of sanding to get down to the name. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go over and give this a bath in lemon oil, put a little uh, spray acrylic on it, and then we'll drill the hole for the key ring, and I'll re be right back to show you the finished product. And here we have it. Completed keychain with the uh, baked inlay, a uh, little bit of lemon oil, and about three coats of spray lacquer and uh, you have a nice little keepsake here that you can give away as a gift or make for yourself. One more thing, there's been quite a bit of discussion on where to get the chain and the, uh, the rest of the pieces you need. These are what I use. I buy these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, you're able to get the chain, uh, 20 pieces of chain for $1.47 and the rings are uh, $1.47 for uh, I believe uh, 20 of those also. So there's everything you need to make the keychain. Hope you enjoy this project, and we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.